In this video, we will focus on step fills and how to edit step fills. Step fills are found in many types of designs as these fills are appropriate for a wide range of sizes and shapes of objects. A step fill consists of rows of straight stitches that go back and forth across a shape. Step fills can be uniform or patterned. The pattern of needle penetrations in the object affects the look of the fill. By selecting an object and then opening Object Properties, you can edit the step fill. There are 30 different types of step fills. Each will look slightly different. Notice by selecting another type of step fill, the preview in Object Properties is updated. The change does not occur to the selected object until you press Apply or OK. If you select Apply, the dialog box will remain open, while OK will close it. You can see that some of the step fills look rough, some look smooth, and others will have patterns. To stitch out a sampler of all the different step fill patterns, go to File Open, navigate to your Embroidery Software 8, and Reference File folder, and select Step Fills. There are three different files that can be stitched out that will show you samples of all the different step fills. These reference files are an easy way to see exactly what is included in the software and how the step fills are actually going to look. Notice in Object Properties, you can change the stitch spacing, which is the distance between two forward rows of step fill. This is going to affect the density. You can also change the stitch length. For example, if you are using a heavier thread, you may want to increase the stitch spacing, which will lower the density. Changing the value and applying this change will lighten the density and we would be appropriate for heavier threads. You may also change the stitch length if you are using either a heavier or thinner thread than 40 weight.